We've all seen those teens whose skin just looks unreal, clear, smooth, and glowing, like they were born with some secret skincare gene. And yeah, maybe it's genetics or puberty, but what if I told you your glow isn't just luck? You actually have a skin barrier superpower hiding under your skin, and it can be healed, unlocked, and protected naturally, science-backed, and without spending a single dollar. I've spent weeks digging into real research, separating facts from all the hype, and today, I'm breaking down exactly how to fix your skin barrier in just one week. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly why your breakouts, redness, or irritation happen, and how to stop them for good. 1. What's actually happening beneath your skin? Okay, so before we jump into all the hacks, we need to talk about something that most people completely overlook, your skin barrier. Now, don't roll your eyes, I promise it's cooler than it sounds. Imagine your skin is like a castle, and the outermost layer, called the stratum corneum, is your castle wall. It's made up of dead skin cells, fats, and lipids, basically. It's your skin's armor that keeps all the bad stuff out. Bacteria? Dirt? Pollution? Bad vibes? The wall says, not today. But here's the thing, if that wall is weak, cracked, or totally neglected, your castle is basically an open Airbnb for acne, redness, irritation, and dry patches. Yeah, your skin suddenly looks like it went through a zombie apocalypse overnight. And let me tell you something, most of the skin problems you face as a teen, the random breakouts, the dry patches, the weird texture changes, are literally just your barrier waving a big red flag. It's screaming, hey! I'm not happy with how you're treating me. And you probably don't even notice because everyone online is screaming about the latest miracle serum or the glow-up hacks that cost more than your weekend allowance. Here's the secret. Your barrier doesn't care about expensive bottles, fancy labels, or aesthetic Instagram routines. It only cares about being protected and hydrated. The cool part? Healing your skin barrier is 100% doable naturally, even as a teen. No Sephora runs, no insane routines, no 1,000-step hacks. It's about understanding what it actually is, what's harming it, and giving it the care it actually needs. Think of it like leveling up in a game. Your skin barrier is your starter character, and most people are trying to unlock epic skins before even training their character. That's why so many teens get frustrated. They're putting effort in the wrong places. Fix the barrier first, and suddenly, all those breakout hacks, glow-up tips, and makeup tricks actually work. So yeah, this is where we start. 2. The Hidden Habits Silently Destroying Your Glow Okay, welcome to the part where we expose the little things you do every day that are actually sabotaging your skin, and no, it's not some mysterious genetic curse. First major culprit, overdoing it. Think of your skin barrier like a clay phone case. It's protective, but if you sand it, peel it, and scrub it every day, it starts to fall apart. That's exactly what happens when you exfoliate too often, pile on acids, or hop between 10 miracle products every week. The squeaky clean feeling? It's a lie. That tight, squeaky skin is just your barrier crying for mercy. Instead of making you glow, you're basically stripping away the armor your skin needs to stay calm and balanced. Next, the let's mix everything because influencers said so habit. Retinol plus strong acids plus chemical peels plus random actives sounds dramatic and exciting, but in reality, it's a one-way ticket to Inflammation City. These actives are powerful, yes, but they poke holes in your barrier if used together or too often. It's like blasting holes into your castle wall with fireworks. Sure, it's flashy for a second, but what comes next? Redness, sensitivity, and breakouts that are harder to fix than the original problem. The smart move? Give your skin time between experiments. Introduce one thing at a time and actually wait. Don't baby your face with a product salad. Then there's the harsh cleanser and hot shower combo that teens love because it feels dramatic. Hot water feels relaxing, but it strips oils, and foaming cleansers that leave your face singing clean and empty are often too aggressive. When your skin loses its natural fats and lipids, moisture escapes, bacteria get in, and your skin starts freaking out. It's like taking off your jacket in a freezing room. You'll get chills, and your skin will too. A gentle, non-foaming cleanser and lukewarm water are the small adult decisions that actually change everything. Another sneaky saboteur? 
fragrance, weird DIYs, and random harsh ingredients. That cute-smelling serum or trending homemade lemon mask might look aesthetic on your feed, but those fragrances and acids are basically foreign invaders for sensitive skin. They irritate, trigger reactions, and then you're left with more problems than before. Your skin does not need to smell like a flower to be healthy, it just needs to be left alone enough to repair itself. Also, and I cannot stress this enough, constant touching, nail popping, and dirty towels are basic but brutal. Your hands are a bacteria parade. When you press them into your face or pop pimples, you're reintroducing germs, spreading inflammation, and creating scars. Towels that live in your bag for a week. Same story. It's hygiene meets common sense. Treat your skin like the VIP it is and don't let it be handled like a school gym towel. 3. The real healing phase begins. Let's talk about how to actually heal your skin barrier, not just let it rest or use fewer products, because everyone already tells you that and somehow it never works. Here's the real secret. Your skin doesn't just need fewer products. It needs consistency and energy. Think of your skin like a moody best friend. It doesn't want you to disappear one day and shower it with attention the next. It wants a predictable rhythm, same cleanser, same moisturizer, same calm. The barrier heals when it finally realizes you've stopped being unpredictable. Now, here's something no one talks about, micro-moisturizing. Instead of one thick layer of cream at night, add tiny amounts of hydration throughout the day, like reapplying lip balm, but for your face. A thin layer of ceramide-based cream after washing, a spritz of rose water or thermal spray midday, a light reseal with your moisturizer. If your skin feels tight, you're teaching your skin that it will never have to panic for hydration again. When your skin stops panicking, it stops overproducing oil, and that's when it actually starts to glow naturally. Another underrated hack? Fabric matters more than filters. Switch your pillowcase to silk or soft cotton and clean it twice a week. Every time you sleep on a rough, unwashed surface, you're grinding oil, sweat, and bacteria into your pores for seven hours. Imagine wearing the same t-shirt daily without washing it. Your face does exactly that. Teens usually think my skincare isn't working when it's actually their pillowcase declaring war every night. Here's a weirdly powerful one face fasting with purpose. Instead of using the same actives daily, give your skin off days. On those days, skip everything but cleanser and moisturizer, but don't think of it as being lazy. Think of it as letting your skin breathe, like a workout recovery day. Your skin barrier rebuilds during these calm days. That's when the real healing happens. And since we're being honest, your phone is dirtier than your sneakers. Every time you press it against your cheek, you're transferring oil, dust, and old makeup residue. Wipe your phone screen once a day, especially if you call a lot. It sounds small, but this one habit alone can clear the weird breakouts near your cheeks and jawline that people keep blaming on hormones. Last, temperature discipline. Hot water feels heavenly, cold water feels dramatic, but your skin loves lukewarm. It's science. Extreme temperatures dilate and constrict blood vessels too fast, confusing your skin barrier's repair cycle. Just normal water. Simple, controlled, balanced. That's the vibe your skin wants. Healing your barrier isn't about money, it's about stability. Teens think it's about products, but it's actually about teaching your skin that life's not chaos anymore. Keep the routine gentle, keep the energy predictable, and your skin will quietly start to glow in that way where people go, wait, what changed? And you'll just smile because they'll never guess it was something this small. Four, beyond skincare the energy that heals you too. And hey, if you're still here, that already says something about you. You care. You're not just scrolling for that one product that'll fix everything overnight. You actually want to understand your skin, and that's what makes you different from everyone who keeps chasing the next miracle serum. Your glow-up isn't about filters or Sephora shelves. It's in the way you treat yourself when no one's watching. So keep it simple, be patient, and protect that barrier— both on your skin and in your heart. Because when your skin starts to heal, your confidence follows. And when that happens, people won't just see your glow, they'll feel it. You know what the craziest part is? Your glow was never hiding in a bottle, it was always hiding in you. Every drop of water you drink, every night you sleep early, 
Every time you choose to be kind to your skin instead of punishing it, that's your glow up happening quietly. 